Oh gosh dang, how long has it been sitting there? Over 20 years now. All right guys, as you might notice, we're scrambling a little bit and there's a really, really good reason for it. I love 69 and 68 Chargers more than anything, right? And right here is a 1969 Dodge Charger I found on the internet. Look at this, look at dang it! Looks so good, it sank halfway into the dirt. It's trying to return to nature is what it's doing, but we're not gonna let it. And the thing is, it's been posted for less than a day. It's really cheap and this thing is original. Ran when parked, it still has the factory air cleaner on it and it's two hours away. So, our plan is we're gonna drive up there, we're gonna buy it, we're gonna try to get it started, we're gonna drive it. Now the problem is, right, is there's three other people on the way to buy it because this thing's like $15,000 too cheap. So we gotta get there before everybody else to buy it. How you doing? Good, how about yourself? Oh, I can't complain too much. Randy Miller. Western Tampa, good to meet you. Do you nice mind if you. we film, we make YouTube videos? Oh, do you? Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately sometimes. Well. If it don't break. What can you tell me about it anyway? Actually, I had it since 93. Bought it from a guy in Washington, Kansas. Oh gosh dang, how long has it been sitting there? We moved in in here about over 20 years now. God dang, it sat there a while then, yeah. huh? Did it run pretty good when you parked it? Yep. Transmission was slipping though. I will be honest with you. Wait, did you see a dipstick over there or am I just blind? Okay, there we go. Oh, she's, she's brown, brown, but she's got oil in her. Oh, that's basically pretty good. Always wanted to make this Dukes a hazard. Mm -hmm. Main reason I'm selling everything six months ago, the old ticker ain't working real well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's uh, either getting a new one or right out the time I got. So wow. I'm never going to get to it. I just put it on just to see if there'd be anybody interested. Holy, my phone's been blown up. It's amazing. When I was a kid, I used to watch every single episode of Dukes of Hazzard. Dukes of Hazzard, yeah. And then <laughs> and the DVD pack, they would just sit there and it had this thing where the charger would just drive around this cul-de-sac, like around and around. And I remember I, I would just leave it running all night and I'd wake up randomly and I'd look at that car. And I always really badly wanted one. And then I got a 68, but I've always really wanted yeah, a 69. 69. How bad was the trans slipping when you parked it? She'd move, but you could tell she had problems. Okay, but it'd move a little bit? Yep. Well, like I said, she's rough, but she's all there. Yeah, it's all right. You know, yeah. the thing is, is it's, you know, the rougher the girl, the more I like her. You know? Yeah, there you, you go. Be, you go Unless she you. slaps you too hard. Well, what do you think her likelihood of getting her started is? The motor might start. The motor might start. It might not move once it starts. The problem is, is the guy said the transmission slips in this bad boy, and it's been sitting since 1996, and it's got no tires and no brakes and if all of that works we still need to stop so yeah. so i broke out 19,000 cash you wouldn't take it today's video is sponsored by ag1 now some of you might know i've been on a diet recently trying to lose some weight and i'm down 76 pounds i've started taking my health more seriously and now that i've started to do that ag1 reached out and wanted to sponsor one of our videos i'm like you know what if i like the product send it to me and i will try to test it out and if i like it you can sponsor the video and bam, we're here. I really like this stuff. It's become a daily habit of mine because it helps with stress, mental focus, and it even supports immunity health. And on top of that, it's just a day, easy daily habit. Just drink it before breakfast. And all you gotta do is take your container, take a scoop out of this, put it in water, bam, you're good to go. And it actually tastes good. Yeah, you wanna taste it? You've never tasted it. I've never tasted it. Yeah, that's not bad at all. It's a natural, sweet taste. So guys, make sure you go to drinkag1.com forward slash Weston. And with your first purchase, you're gonna take and get a one year supply of vitamin D3 and K2 on top of five travel packs off of your first purchase. All right, thanks AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to whatever else we're doing. Did we blow up a car yet in this video? I split it with you. Thank you, five. You guys are nice, yep. All right, I'll do that. I'll take it. Take hands on it. There we go, it's a All deal. Right. I just bought a car with no keys and it hasn't ran since 1996, <laughs> but I feel good about it. <laughs> hey, good thing we brought a trailer with a winch on. Guys, it's been a couple months since we bought this car, I'll be honest, we kind of got sidetracked, but here's the deal. It has not ran in 30 or 40 years it hasn't ran. And when it parked it, the transmission was kind of going bad. So the hope for Randy is not real high. On top of that, something else we figured out since we've bought this thing. You notice how this side of the car was really, really low? We thought that, oh, maybe the, like, the torsion bars broke or something like that. It's not something that simple. It's the fact is this car has rotted itself out enough that there's nothing left for the torsion bar to grab onto to hold this corner of the car up. So I'm not sure we can actually drive this car. 
but I still think if we get it started, that's a win. Oh, God, she's as good as I remember. I know we checked all this stuff when we bought this thing, but dude, it's got a factory air cleaner with genuine rat turds. Oh my God, it's a single barrel. Sheesh, this stuff gonna get at least nine and a half miles a gallon when we ever get it running. So here's the thing. The chances of this thing starting are not very high. It's been sitting a long ass time. It could be locked up, we're not sure. You know, if I was gonna look at a motor and be like, damn, that thing will fire right up, probably wouldn't be what I wanted to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this thing's basically restored. Oh, dude, I gotta be careful. If I keep vacuuming too much, I'm gonna vacuum away the whole fender. Why is there a chain around the motor? Where? There's literally a chain holding on the driver's side of the motor. I think it's the motor mount. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like we shouldn't clean it anymore because the dirt is what's holding it together. I thought cleaning it was a good no, idea. I ain't scared. No, I ain't scared. I'm scared of how much car is going to be left once we get done vacuuming. You're not listening to me. You're going to vacuum away the car. So all we need to do is we need to put power to the coil and we need to figure out how to crank it. Spark, fuel, air, rotations. Like squeeze, bang, blow. So, yeah. And then we'll start the car. Here's the deal. We turn this on and it doesn't burst into flames. That's already a success. That was anticlimactic. Yep. <laughs> you might have to arc some shit with your pliers. Not sure this will do anything. But... Ooh. Oh my god! Dude, she's frying! I drooled. I was so excited. <laughs> oh, she cranks good. She's good to go. Give her a little spark and a little bit of fuel. She'll be firing right off. Dude, I'm surprised it's not locked up. I figured it definitely would be. We got it sucking and squeezing. We just need it banging and blowing now. That's right. We're halfway to where we need to be. Oh, there we go. Now we just wedge it in there. That's on. And give her some startage. All right, ready? Yep. 30 years. Let's go. You got defective pliers. That's what's wrong with it. It's definitely not the 40 year old starter. Your pliers are messed up. Can you see the starter from there? Yeah, you hand me a long board. I'll hit it with a board. All right, guys, the secret to this is, don't worry, I'm just bang on the starter a little bit. I don't know, I was too handed and it didn't work. That don't make no sense. I don't know why these 40 year old connection, connections are fucked up. I think that might be why it didn't start. I, I like how it fades from black to green. Statue of Liberty's still green, and that means freedom, so that means this should work too. So guys, here's the secret, right? If you want the maximum connection that you get, you strip it back enough. By stripping it, I mean you just rub the wire until the insulation falls off because it's so old. <laughs> and then you take your vice grips, and then you squeeze on both sides. Look at that. That's pretty good stuff. I feel so confident in that. Can you get the fire department down? The fire department, what we needed them for? We are perfectly capable of starting our own fire. That's impossible, it didn't start. Oh, hold on, I gotta turn the jump pack on. Hmm. How many vice grips do we have on this car now? Three. Three vice grips in 15 minutes. That's a pretty good new record. Well, hey, okay. good news is we found our problem. It has no electricity in it. Oh, it's completely ripped right there. That's fine. Oh, 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 <laughs> Grab the one off tater. See, most people, whenever they do this, right, they rescue a car that's been sent for a long time. They're like, all right, guys, first thing we're going to do in today's video, we're going to drain the oil, change the oil, change the spark plugs, change the cap, change the rotor. We're like, well, let's hook up, put a battery in and spray starting fluid at it and see what happens, you know? Budget's been pretty low. When are we, uh, when are we getting paid? What? You ungrateful hey. motherfucker. I paid you two months ago. I have a family. Do not call your 15 cats family, Logan. <laughs> Ready? Well, it's getting ready to rain, and we gave this a valiant effort today, so I think we'll come back tomorrow, we'll clean the points, we'll try this again. Take two! <laughs> try to start the 1969 Dodge Charger. I spent $27 on Amazon on that for that. Dude, I feel it. I feel like she's gonna run. I don't know if she's gonna run today, but I feel like eventually, if we work on it long enough, it will run. Okay. And if we did this right, this might work. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Got spark? Yeah. Lots of it. Oh my God, we're in business, baby! Woo! Ideally, I would like to get it running long enough it overheats. <laughs> that would make me feel good. All right. Everybody cross their fingers. Come on, baby, please run. Sheesh! This thing wants to live! <laughs> High five! There we go! Fist bump! 
Yeah, good stuff. Here, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run the throttle over here too. Uh, everybody close your eyes and noses when this thing fires up. Come on. Oh my God, dude, 10 minutes. No, dude, excuse me, 10 seconds. It might as well be 10 minutes. <laughs> Dude, it actually runs like, for, for sitting for 40 years, that's pretty impressive. I would feel like this would be a success if this thing would drive itself off the trailer. Okay, so we'll put plugs, wires, cap, and then we'll go see if we can like straighten up the wheels and pull this trailer up and see if it'll back itself off the trailer. Guys, I don't know if we want to invest this much money in this girl or not, but we've basically rebuilt the entire motor. By rebuilt it, I mean we put spark plugs in it. <laughs> we still have the same old 300 year old carburetor and dirty gas, but that's probably not gonna stop us. It'll probably run perfectly. Oh God. Oh, it's awful. Okay, somebody start me up. <laughs> that my referee, hurry up, I need fresh air. <laughs> yep. I'm ready to take her for a spin. No, oh, dang, this thing's nice in here. Go <laughs> ahead, start it up. It felt smooth on the drive. I didn't notice any vibrations or nothing. It felt good. As far as a good test drive, like a good first test drive, that's it. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. You've seen her on our first road trip. Did you grab the gas can that's got like all the old dirty gas in it? I grabbed the only gas can we have. That's the one with the old dirty gas in it.